Two words and nothing else to say. Steak frites. Okay, find really delicious ones. With an amazing butter drizzle. Damn it. Steak frites. Steak, you understand that. Frites, fries in French. Steak frites is a, is a classic little French cafe uh, combo. They have it everywhere. I've had it in France. So we're, we're doing a, a, a eh, we're doing a riff on that. We're making a shareable version of steak frites. All the hands can come in. In fact, we should get that, try and get that as a picture. All the hands coming in at the end. It's not just one steak per person and your own frites. It's a bunch. Starts with fries. We're making the little uh, half fingerling guys. A steak we're gonna do in a different way. Make this really delicious, fully infused roasted garlic, rosemary, parsley, melted butter to drizzle on at the end. And holy shit, is this gonna be good? I was just gonna say something really dirty and I absolutely pulled back the last minute and I'm glad because it didn't need to go there and it didn't need to go in her ears. What? Not that I hold back much from you, slap no, bong, but. Hear. Yeah, let's hear the comment. Some, no. What was it? No, yeah. it's not happening. It is not happening. Is it gonna get us demonetized? Yes, All right, it, it might. On. It might, never happening. Just say it and then we won't put it in. I'm not saying it. I don't trust anything anymore now. These are fingerling potatoes. So named because they look like little fingers. Okay, creepy little fingers. <laughs> really jacked up little fingers. Can you imagine a hand of this? Is there a way to do that? Here, hold on. There. Hence the name fingerling potatoes. So here's what I do. I just like to clean them up a bit. Get these ends off. Suppose I could wash them. Suppose I should wash them. See, now I have to do that because I said it. It's fine. We'll give them a little rinse. We can do that. We go in the colander. Quick little rinse under running water. A little rinse. We dry them off. On the towel. Quick little dry. And then we'll cut them lengthwise. Put them in our bowl. So you take one. Lengthwise, separate in the bowl. One, separate, bowl. Just finish them all off. And what I like is that the outside colors obviously are different. The insides, some of them, different. The insides, some of them, look at that. That I like, the purple guys are cool. These guys are light in color, and that's okay. Yellow ones, light in color. Same thing, that's okay. Get them all in the bowl, and then we move on to step two. Here's what's next. The potatoes get a little hit of avocado oil, like that, and then the following. A giant whack of garlic, ah, ah. It's a couple cloves, like that. We're making these a little spicy just the way they should be. Some red pepper flake, a little chili powder, a little bit, not too much, a little smoked paprika, ah, that, kosher salt and pepper, one more, we mix, and what am I going to use to mix, Max? Your hands. That's right, thank you, Jilly. Max, she beat you. And in we go. Nice. These really are the best things for this kind of mixing. Yes, of course a spoon would work, but it won't be the same. Now we take these, the bowl comes out, the baking sheet goes in, we give it a spray. And the potatoes go back on, looking lovely, but we want them face down. So spread them out and then turn them over. Uh, crispy is an important part of this. Color is an important part of this. And we want this on the flat. You're just gonna flip everyone over onto the flat part. 
to start and then at the halfway point we'll flip them back over look i could have used just uh like yellow fingerling potatoes they make them but the bag with the multicolored that's the way to go we don't eat with our eyes ladies and gentlemen but we definitely see with them and looking at this melange of colors when this whole dish is finished it's going to be way more appealing to your eyes than just all one now off to the oven so the potatoes are i shouldn't say so I'm trying not to say so i say it too much okay so okay so so okay so 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 okay so 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 okay okay so 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 okay so okay okay so okay so so okay so okay so okay so so okay so okay so okay okay so so okay okay so 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 okay so so you say so, okay so. so a lot. I know. Okay, so okay, so the potatoes are in. So let's do that. I, sh I shouldn't do that. I have to. I have to train myself. The potatoes are in the oven at 450 degrees. We're gonna give them about uh, 15 minutes on that flat cut side down. Then we'll scope them and we'll turn them over and we'll look and see how they are. And then they'll live another 15, 20 minutes on their backs. That would be their backs, right? Cut side down. If you flip them over, they'd be on their back. Like when you turn your dog over, right? They're yeah. scoopy this right way. Right now they're on their stomach. Right yeah. now they're on their stomach. <laughs> the potatoes are on this stupid conversation. Uh, so we have to do two things. Uh, our steak, we'll do that in a second. But this butter drizzle, this super delicious butter drizzle, that probably doesn't need to be anywhere near this, except in our world, We'll now make following things go in our little pot. You're gonna like this because we start with a stick of butter, or if this was France, a stick of bell. Then we're gonna add finely chopped parsley, some finely chopped green onion. Of course, you knew that was coming. Some rosemary, fresh, that I've chopped. Stand by. Big pinch of salt and pepper. And then my newest best friend, roasted garlic in a little squeeze tube because it's so easy. So let's go by a tablespoon of this right on top to make it look as gross as we can. Well, maybe that's a tablespoon and a half. And then this goes on the heat. And on we go. And this will start to melt. Happen faster if we break this up. Not that we're in any rush, but these flavors are gonna come together in a most, go uh oh. Oh, the potatoes are ready. Let's check them in a second. But these flavors are gonna come together in the most gorgeous way. So just let it do its thing. We'll come back and check it in a sec. And after a couple of minutes, look. Do you know what this is gonna be like? Have any idea what this will be like drizzled on top of this amazing little wagyu? You, you don't even know how I'm going to cook it yet, do you? Secret. Well, that has been in the background right there this whole time, so. Oh, sorry, this? Well, I could just, never mind. They might have an idea. They might? Oh my God, this smells so good. I just want a baked potato to drizzle this over. I want some shrimp to poach in here. Can you imagine? I want to take a piece of like thick French bread and put this over the top and then stick it in the oven and make the most amazing roasted garlic, parsley, rosemary, green onion bread ever. All right, enough of that. Check our potatoes. And here they are. Does anybody know? Somebody tell me what that saying is a reference to. That expression, I keep saying it. And, and, and young Max and Chance both said, what does that mean? When I say, and here they are. That's the newlywed game from way back. Bob Eubanks was the host. Couples would come and he'd ask them questions. You'd have to, Susan, what will your husband Bob say was the strange, you know, I don't know, that kind of stuff. It's a great, it was a great old game. You know what, Fuck everybody for being so young. What have you got today? What game show do you have today? You got Yaz Queen. That's all you got. Yaz Queen. But we have our own game show coming up soon. It'll be 
Win a chance with chance. Wait, win a chance. Win a date. Win a chance to date. No. It will be win a chance. Your chance to date chance. Wait. Chance date win chance. a chance to win a date with chance. That's it. Win a chance to win a date with chance and his dreamy eyes. Should we look? Oh. Nice. Oh. Oh, God. That's it. Look at it. Oh. Okay, they're going to get more color, but that's what you want. Oh, man. Everybody gets turned over. Ow. Shit. Okay, so you get the idea, right? All the potatoes get turned over now on their backs. They were on their stomachs, as Max pointed out. This little color here, this is what you want. It's where we're headed, folks. We're, ah, we're headed for potato wedge or potato half or fingerling half deliciousness. Here we go. Ow. God. You know what I wish I had with me? I don't. My favorite spoon. Ow. My favorite spoon would be perfect in this application. Ow. It really would. Okay. Let me get them all done. Oh, happy. Except that guy. Everybody good? They were actually uh, in for about uh, 18, 19 minutes. A little bit past the 15. You know when you get that color. You saw me flip them. You saw that gorgeous uh, 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 brown. And that's what you want. Crispy, beautiful looking. Here's the thing. I have to do the steak. It's literally going to take me three minutes to cook. So when those potatoes are five minutes from being ready, I will prep the steak. I will cut the steak. I will cook the steak. The potatoes will be done. They'll come out. The steak will be done. They'll go on. And then we use that amazing nonsense butter thing to finish the whole thing off. For right now, though, I got nothing. There we go. It's a little Wagyu, little Wagyu ribeye that's going to become our friend. In, well, it's our friend now, but really more of our friend. So look, I'm good with fat. This I'm fine. Part of me doesn't even want to do this. There, that's all I can do. I can't take any more off because I love it. So here's how this goes down. There, I said so. Did I say so? I don't know if I did. I'm going to do this. into threes and then into chunks this way oh my god I know how this is gonna taste already without having ever made this before the components of this are gonna be so freaking bomb I'm gonna be so freaking happy here we go we got these bites everybody good let's separate them Gonna give them a couple of things. A little bit of love. Tiny bit of avocado oil, of course, and this will help everything stick. And everything is gonna be just two more things. Kosher salt and pepper, and a little garlic powder. A little turn, and we repeat. I love the way the coarse salt and pepper bounce off. Okay. And I want these guys coming right off the grill, going right on the potatoes. Potatoes are done. I'm going to go get them, put them in my dish, and we start. And now that we're here, we just want these in here. Okay, I might make them prettier once they all go in, but good lord. That's basically the idea right there. Cool? Now, the steak. And here's what we're cooking on. One of my favorite grill items. A grill pan with holes in it so the heat gets through, the flames get through, lets you cook like you're cooking on the grates, but it keeps everything contained. And we'll just check and see if this is hot enough. Can you hear that? 
Oh, yeah, I can. Ready? One, two, tres. On that little piece of fat, why not? The goal is simple. Just like that. Oh, sh fantastic. It's like a wok pan, but with holes. And because this is, because this is Wagyu, we don't want to overcook it. All we want is the beautiful color all the way around, keep it a little rare in the middle, and everybody's gonna be happy. Well, I'm gonna be happy. All right, we're there and gorgeous. Let's get ready, put them on the potatoes. And here they are. Can I overuse that? Because I think I can, oh my. So what you want, apart from eating one of these right effing now, is to just post them all up in a really low, come on guys, come in and cooperate with me. Little piece of fat. And now, what is the most unnecessary, but maybe the most delicious thing ever. This fully infused roasted garlic, rosemary, parsley, green onion, butter. So a little more. <laughs> I mean, look, you want it on the, on the, on the fingerlings, right? So don't forget the, the fingerlings, right? Get it on there because this is all what makes sense. And now, and now you just try to take a fork out of your back pocket, poke around a bit. Should we have a potato first? Let's go potato. Let's go. This guy's waiting for me. Look at the drippy butter. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's gorgeous. It's crispy on the top, beautiful color on the bottom. It's this rich, delicious butter, roasted garlic nonsense. It's like a little canoe of pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> That's one of your best ever. <laughs> the canoe of, you tell me that doesn't look like a freaking canoe of pleasure? Pleasure cruise. It does. And this little canoe is going right in my mouth. It had a little snap to it. Oh my God. The butter, <laughs> the garlic, and now the obvious. A gorgeous little bite of this beautiful Wagyu ribeye on there. Now it's a half a canoe of pleasure or whatever the hell that was. And that bite glistening with the butter and the herbs and the amazingness is going right in my yap. Jesus, take me now. And I'm Jewish. Oh my God. To everybody that thinks I exaggerate. Nope. To everybody that thinks I over exaggerate. Exaggerate. To everybody that thinks I over exaggerate. I can't say. Exaggerate. Waskily wabbit. <laughs> to everybody that thinks I over exaggerate. This. There is no over exaggeration here. These bites, these bites, this is just pure, this is just pure steak frite heaven in a shareable, uber delicious way. I'm not gonna say anything else. I'm not gonna ask you to subscribe, hit the like button, none of that stuff. Buy our merch, nothing. Just gonna take a bite and we'll end quietly. Well, happens in my mouth that I can't even believe.